Hi everybody. I hope you're having a good week. Welcome to this during the week video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. It's Wednesday afternoon and as many of you can tell, I'm here at the church out in our front lawn. It is a hot summer day and I thank God for the shade of this tree. The reason I'm here is for this during the week video is I'm here in front of our wonderful banner which tells about our upcoming Vacation Bible School, which is next week. We have had people who've been planning for this event for weeks and months. There's been a lot, there's a lot of children who have signed up for it. The theme for this year's Vacation Bible School is to Mars and Beyond. Together we go beyond with faith, beyond with boldness, beyond with thanksgiving. It should be an incredible week of Vacation Bible School. It begins next Tuesday. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, our Bible school is from 6 o'clock to 8.30. On Friday, begins at 5.30 because there are some special plans for our last night of VBS. So I certainly hope that for those of you who can come, that you would be here and be a part of it. Uh, if you're not coming, I certainly hope that you will keep our Bible school in your prayers. Here's some things that are coming up for us. First, I want to thank everyone who helped with our church's blood drive, which was this afternoon. Uh, many of our members donated blood, and we thank you for that. Several of our members also provided refreshments. We thank those who did that. And special thanks to Scott Cardwell, who helped make the arrangements for the blood drive and his work with it. Thank you, Scott. I want you to know that we continue to look for people who can help fill our blessing box, uh, which is out in front of our youth house. Uh, where people can just pick up any items they might need. Thank you for those who have signed up so far, and there are still some opportunities to help. Please check our church communications, which shows the link for the sign up. If you have any questions, please contact Rachel. Speaking of helping people, I want you to know again that Jeff Brown, the director of King Outreach Ministry, is looking for people who can help pick up food from some of our local grocery stores. Please check out our church communications for more details about that. Now, even though our Vacation Bible School is next Tuesday, if you're not involved in it, you're more than welcome to join the group that plays golf on Tuesdays at the Pilot Knob Golf Course in Pilot Mountain. It is a lot of fun to, of seeing people get together and just enjoying an evening together on the golf course. They meet at 5.30 and everyone is welcome to come. For our prayer concerns, there are several for us to pray for. Taylor Justice found out this week that she has a large mass in her abdomen. She is going to be having surgery for that tomorrow to have it removed. So please keep Taylor and her family in your prayers. Doug Spainauer will be having some surgery next week, which involves heart ablations. Heather Johnson will also have some dermatological surgery next week. So please pray for her. Don Lucas, as he continues his radiation treatments. Hillary Douglas, as he waits to see what his doctors will say about a leaky heart valve that he has. Roger Cook, as he continues to deal with his pulmonary disease. It was certainly good seeing Roger at church this past Sunday. Candace Covington, as she awaits some upcoming eye surgeries in the upcoming months. Sue Donathan, Pat McGallier, John Matthews, and Tommy Reeves, as they all continue recovering from recent knee surgeries. April Bullen asked that we pray for her mother, Mary Strader, who will have surgery tomorrow for a pinched nerve in her back. Doug Gordon asked that we continue to pray for his brother, Timmy Gordon. He is not doing well. He's a patient at Baptist Hospital. Richard Smith asked that we pray for his brother, Sam Smith, who has recently been diagnosed with ALS. Kurt Early asked that we pray for his friend, Michael Crotz, who has recently been diagnosed with stage four cancer. Also, let us remember the family of Jerry Hodges, who passed away this past week. Uh, Mr. Hodges was on our prayer list. He's been dealing with stage four cancer. He is a friend of David Durham, as well as many others. So please keep his family and friends in your prayers. Let's pray for those who are traveling this summer. Summer is a time to get out and vacation. I'll have to say it has been kind of lonely in the office this week as Rachel and Leah and Ethan are all away on vacation. Throughout the summer, there are others of our members and families who are enjoying vacation. So please pray for good times and safe travels. We continue to pray for our health care workers during this pandemic and pray for our nation as well. There is one other thing I want to share with you. This Sunday is July 4th. The 4th of July is the day that we celebrate our nation's birth. I realize some of you may be in town. Now, some of you are out of town anyway because you live outside of our area. 
Uh, what's really great about these videos is we have people that are watching in other parts of the United States, some even in Canada, and we thank you wherever you are for watching. Now for our locals, if you are home this weekend, I'll hope, I hope you'll join us this Sunday for our worship service as we continue worshiping inside our church and our sanctuary. We are having a patriotic Sunday this Sunday. Our service will have a patriotic theme and our music and it's what is shared. And we would love to have you with us. Now, if, you're town, if you are out of town um, or if you're home and just aren't able to come, please, uh, or maybe you still don't feel comfortable getting out, we hope you'll join us online. But whatever the case, I hope you will join us this Sunday as we celebrate our nation. Join us as we celebrate being part of God's great family. I hope you have a great rest of the week. If there, if there are things I can do or we can do for you, please let me know. May God bless our United States of America. May God bless wherever you are. May God bless each of you. And thank you so much for watching.